In this video, we're going to focus on the Bible GPS on Ephesians 5 from verses 8 to 20. And we've seen that we're going through the GPS method to help us to cross the gap between us and the people of the Bible because there are many differences. So the first step is understanding to take us to the message to the original receiver. And then we need to ask, is this applicable or not? And if it is, then we communicate this message in the 21st century. So let's start with the first process, which is understanding. And we've seen that we're going through the process of START, the acronym of START. The S is the situation. That's the background of the passage. Then we determine what kind of literature is this, because you cannot read prose like poetry and also the other way around. And then we dig into the passage by analyzing it. And when we've done that, we determine the message to the original receiver. And then in step number four, we relate the message to the rest of the Bible. And then number five, we just test our findings, whether we are on track or not. So let's start with the steps of situation more in detail. The first one is situation. So what's the situation of the book of Ephesians? We see that Ephesians was written around AD 60 while Paul was in prison in Rome. And more than one-sixth of Paul's references to love in his 13 epistles occur in Ephesians. This also shows that he wanted to promote Christian unity in the church. And Paul wrote this letter to encourage them to love both God and their fellow saints more deeply. And we know that the type of literature in Paul is always prose. And then the genres will be explanation. Or instruction. Now we dig into the passage and we analyze it. We write it in smaller units because it's loaded. Then we mark the meaning indicators. Then we see whether there are difficult words or phrases. And then we establish the meaning structure by zooming out. And then we conclude and summarize the message to the original receiver. Let us apply the steps of uh, number three analysis on the book of Ephesians chapter 5 from verse 8. So what I normally do, I write it in smaller units as you can see here, because Paul writes very loaded. And the next thing I do, I read every verse and then I determine whether it's explanation or instruction, because that's the way that Paul writes all his letters. So it's prose and then the smaller genre will be either instru instruction or explanation. So let's start from verse 8. At one time you were in the dark, but now you are in the light. That is an explanation. Because of what the Lord has done, live like children of the light. A clear instruction. The light produces what is completely good, right and true. Explanation. Find out what pleases the Lord. That is a clear instruction. Have nothing to do with the acts of darkness. It is an instruction. They don't produce anything good explanation show what they are really like an instruction it is shameful even to talk about what people who don't obey do in, in secret that is just a statement so it is an explanation but implies an instruction but everything the light shines on can be seen explanation light makes everything clear that is why it is said wake up sleeper rise from the dead and christ will shine on you an explanation and then verse 15 verse 15 says so be very careful how you live instruction do not live like people who aren't wise live like people who are wise so we can see all three of these will be instruct instructions make the most of every opportunity instruction why because the days are evil explanation so don't be foolish instruction instead Understand what the Lord wants. Instruction. Don't fill yourself up with wine. Getting drunk will lead to wild living. So this is instruction. Getting drunk will lead to wild living will be explanation. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Instruction. Speak to each other with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing and make music in your heart to the Lord. Always give thanks to God the Father for everything and give Thanks to him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So you can see verse 19 and verse 20 
will be instructions. So we see we have more instructions than in the previous passages. The reason for that, the further you come to the end of all the books of Paul, the more instructions you get because the beginning part of all his books will be more explanation and the later parts of his book will be more instruction because it's based on his explanations. So what I do then, I read through the passage again, then I mark everything that belongs together or and things that will be opposite. At one time, verse 8, you were in the dark. You can see that's the first thought. Then I just read through the passage to see if I can find more darkness. You see in verse 11, there's darkness as well. And then verse 12, it's shameful even to talk what people don't do in secret. So it's shameful. It has to do with darkness. Darkness there. But everything the light shines on can be seen. Verse 14, it's a quote light makes everything clear and then verse 4 15 so be very careful how you live do not live like people who aren't wise and then in verse 16 make the most of every opportunity the days are evil so i just read through the passage but these will be the words that will relate when it comes to darkness and now i go back and i look for the next thought and I see it's light. But now, and we know that but always brings a change in direction, but now you're in the light because of what the Lord has done. Live like children of the light. The light produces what is completely good, right and true. So you can see it relates. Find out what pleases the Lord. You see it relates to the light. Have nothing to do with the acts of darkness, the year of darkness. Of course, they don't produce anything good. And then we continue to verse 13. We have light there as well. Seen. Light in verse 14. And yeah, it seems to me there we end. Oh, we have here as well. Then Christ will shine on you. So we see the main themes here will be darkness and light. Then we continue to verse 15. So be very careful how you live. Do not live like people who aren't wise. So you see, this is another thought. Be very careful how you live. Do not live like people who aren't wise. Live like people who are wise. So careful and wise. Make the most of everything. The days are evil. So don't be foolish. Instead, understand what the Lord wants. Then you just continue to the very end. Then you see that these three lines um, belong together. So we go back to that line and we see do not live like people who aren't wise. So it's foolishness. And then, so don't be foolish. So you can see that that relate. And maybe one can say make the most of every opportunity relates to this as well. Like we need to live like people who are wise. We need to be careful how we live. Now we go to verse 18, so we mark that in a different way. Verse 18 says, don't fill yourself up with wine. Getting drunk, it relates to wild living. And then instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. So that is the opposite, instead. Then we see we get now to the music part. Sp speak to each other with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing, make music in your heart to the Lord. And now we get to the next uh, uh, verse 20. Give thanks. You can see this is a new thought. To God the Father for everything. And then give thanks again in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Relates to God the Father. Now we're going to see how what's going on here. So I'm zoomed out. First we've zoomed in. Now we're going to zoom out. So what I normally do, I see what belongs together. So you can see from verse 8 up to verse 14, you have the concept of darkness and light. So I can summarize this with live in the light. Then we scroll down. Then we see 15 and 16 and 17 belongs together. We need to be careful how we live, so we need to be wise. 
then we our next concept will be in verse 18 it says don't fill yourself of, of, with wine be filled with the Holy Spirit be filled with the Holy Spirit and then we see in 19 the mini indicators show you that um, we need to make music that's the way we show that we are happy and joyful make music and then we need to give thanks you can see all these things actually relate give thanks so we have actually five thoughts here a live in the light b be wise c be filled with the holy spirit d make music and e give thanks and this is the snapshot of our analysis we need to live in light and not in darkness verses 8 to 11 continue through to verse 14 live in the light and not in the darkness and then 15 16 and 17 live wisely and not foolishly and then 18 is be filled with the holy spirit and then 19 make music unto the lord and 20 be thankful that is our um, analysis of this passage then we need to conclude and summarize the message to the original receiver and one can maybe say our life must be characterized by doing what is right good and true it is not easy and requires wisdom the best way to do it is to do it is to allow the Holy Spirit to guide you to sing to the Lord and to be thankful and now we ask ourselves does this message relate to the broader biblical and theological framework then we can say yes because look at Romans chapter 8 verse 5 those who live according to the flesh have their minds set on what the flesh desires but those who live accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on what the Spirit desires so live by the Spirit Colossians chapter 3 verse 12 therefore as God's chosen people holy and dearly loved clothe yourselves with compassion kindness humility gentleness and patience that is to live in the light so we can see it relate and when you test your findings by reading other commentaries you will see that we are on the right track that our life must be characterized by doing what is right good and true and that requires wisdom and that is to live a life filled by the Holy Spirit now our next step is does this message is this message applicable or not so we know how we determine that we uh, we ask is this an incidental incidentals mean it is not applicable to us because it's a cultural thing it's ceremonial and it's civil only the essentials are, um, are applicable because it's moral it reflects the heart of God so we see you know when you read the Bible and this does reflect the heart of God so this is a moral therefore we apply it in the 21st century you can you know apply it in many situations you can have a discussion with a friend you can discuss this with a friend a scenario can be you meet a great person while camping and one night at campfire the conversation lead to a serious discussion in the light of this passage and maybe other passages how would you have answered the following questions that were raised by your friend during the course of the discussion you know the friend um, asks you why is the world in such a mess and what's the answer to this and he reflects something about his family he says my child is hanging out with the wrong crowd my wife and I just don't know what to do anymore he she has so much potential and causes us so much pain by the foolish things he she does we lack some wisdom and what do you think we need to do yeah we know we face tough things in life but you can get some direction by reading day 48 from the Bible as your GPS or page 46 from hearing God's tweet or you can just visit my website for more information